I'm John Brown in North Omaha, where I talk to community leaders about the recent shootings, where they say there's been an uptick in violence over the past few days. Tuesday evening, there was a shooting in downtown Omaha near 16th and Farnham that left a man in critical condition. Omaha police said Wednesday evening the man was pronounced dead at the hospital. There was also a shooting Monday near Midtown Omaha. Community advocate Tamika Meese calls the recent shootings disheartening, and the path forward starts with focusing on solutions. You know, because we always work to, you know, um, provide that, that solution, and then when it looks like things are going well, then you have a domino effect of one thing, and then the next thing, and then here we are. Meese says these solutions can be anywhere from job training to therapy to helping better parent. This is just one of the many challenges that, that we face as a community, and we just have to put our heads together and, you know, come up with viable resources and solutions together. At this time last year, OPD says there were 17 homicides. This year, that number has decreased to just 14. Teresa Negron with U-Turn works to support and add resources to the community like reducing violence. She says it's important for not only her, but the community to try and intervene to help. It takes a lot of people and a lot of funding to make this successful. And I think I've seen recently that those things are being put in place. Both Meese and Negron say it's important to not take away from the progress that community leaders have been making to curb violence because of the recent shootings. Community leaders say solutions aren't going to come overnight, but rather it's a process that has to be worked on continually. In North Omaha, I'm John Brown.